What's up everybody, Jason for Vasa Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this custom transition inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Coming up. All right, so we're inside of DaVinci Resolve. We have an interview here in this clip, right? So we've got an interview with this person here and we drag that down into the timeline and we've got B-roll of that person, right? that we wanna to blend together from clip to clip. So we have the clip here, if I hit play, and then we sort of have this abrupt B-roll shot right here. I wanna create a transition to blend that together a little bit easier. So come over here and let's just shorten this first clip up a little bit. Maybe we'll make it, you know, three seconds. Take the second one, bring that one over, and then we'll take the end of it and drag it in so it's also much shorter, closer to three seconds. So we have these two clips now, let them play and then the B-roll right there, okay? So now what I wanna do is create that custom transition. If I come over here to effects here on the left and then fusion composition, I'm gonna bring that over the top of the two clips. I'm gonna take the end of the fusion composition and shorten it to around two seconds because most transitions, especially on television, are about two seconds that you see on shows. Center this over the two clips roughly, okay? And that won't matter as much right now, but let's go inside of fusion, left click on the fusion tab, and let's start building this custom transition. Now I'm working inside of a 16 gigabyte Mac Mini M1. So for this composition, I wanna make sure if I come up here, I right click that motion blur and high quality are both turned off. So I get better performance in Fusion. So left click on high quality, left click on motion blur. And that turns both of those things off for now. I'm gonna take a background node by left clicking and dragging that into the composition space. Left click its output and drag it into media out. And now we have this black background. Left click on black background, come to alpha here, and drag that down to zero so it's transparent. Let's start working to make this transition now. So the first thing we wanna do is work with shapes, right? So come up here to background again, left click it, bring it down in, take its output, drag it into the other background and let go, okay? Now you have another black background. What I wanna do though is take this black background and create a circle or an ellipse. So come up to the ellipse mask, select that, and we have this black circle. I like to work typically with shapes by using transform nodes. So I'm gonna come up to background here, left click on that, and left click on transform. That gives me the ability to not only move the shape around like this, but also change the size of the shape if I want. To reset its position and its size, double left click on size, double left click on center, and we've reset its position and its size. I wanna change the color of this from black to something else. Come to background right here, left click on that. Come to black, left click. And then right over here, I'm gonna start with orange on this particular shape and hit okay. So there we have it. We have an orange circle over our transparent background. The next thing I wanna do is come to transform here, left click on that to select it and change the size and just make it a little bit smaller for this first circle. I also wanna animate this and I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. By the 10th frame right here, we've only got 48 frames roughly to work with in this composition because it's two seconds. By the 10th frame, I want this orange circle off the screen like this. So I'm gonna bring it off the screen, left click on the keyframe here. I'm gonna take this, move it to zero, and left click the center position, the X position, and left click and drag to the left until it's off the screen this way. Now I've created a movement from across the screen from one spot to the other really, really quickly like that. What I wanna do is now smooth that animation out. So I'm gonna come over to spline, left click on spline, come to transform one, left click. We have keyframes if I select this right here, zoom to fit, you can see the two keyframes are not smooth. Left click and drag over them and hit S to smooth. Then hold option and left click and drag to your left to smooth that out even more. And then this is what it looks like. It's pretty fast, right? The other ones are gonna be slower. That's just our first shape. Left click on spline here. Come over here, left click and drag these nodes and bring them up to create space. Now what I wanna do is add another background shape. So let's come over here to background, bring it in, take its output and drag that right into the transform. We've got another merge here. Take the background, bring it over here. Left click on transform to add that ability, right? Now select the background, left click and hit ellipse again. We have another black circle. Let's take this background number three right here, select it and let's change the color by left clicking here and let's come over to blue. Hit okay and now we have a blue circle. One thing I like to do is keep my compositions really organized. So this background three, right click on it and let's rename that one blue circle, okay? 
Let's do the same thing for the other one, the original one, right click on it here, and let's rename that one Orange Circle. Just so it's easy to keep things organized, okay? Now the blue one, it has no animation, so the orange one here just zips across and the blue one isn't doing anything yet. Let's have that one animate across the screen by frame 18 for this, so select Transform, come up here to X, left click and drag it off the screen, left click on the keyframe there, come to zero, and now let's left click and drag it off the screen this way. And now let's hit the space bar to play. And you can see the blue circle is kind of chasing the orange circle. Again, that animation isn't smooth. So with transform selected here, transform two, left click on spline, left click to zoom to fit, left click and drag over them to highlight the keyframes, let go, hit S to smooth, option and left click and drag to smooth this a little bit more. And now if I hit play, it's chasing after that orange circle pretty darn fast, right? So left click on spline again. We're gonna do another background right here. Left click and drag another background into the space. Take its output right into that merge two. Come over here, left click on transform again. Left click on background and then circle here, ellipse. We have another black circle. Let's right click on this one and we're gonna rename this one to white circle. Hit return, okay? And now let's take that white circle node and left click on the black part here and actually select white and hit okay. And now we have a white circle. And this white circle, I want it to be even bigger so it covers more of the screen as we create our transition. So left click on transform three, increase the size by left clicking and dragging to your right here of this circle and make it pretty darn big. Just like this will be good, so it basically fills the screen, right? Now what I wanna do is have this one animate across the screen by frame, let's just say 34, okay? So left click and drag it off the screen here. Left click the keyframe right here. Come back to frame zero. Left click and drag it back this way off the screen. Hit space bar to play. And now that white circle is chasing the orange and the blue, okay? We need to smooth the keyframes again. So left click on spline here, left click on fit to zoom, left click and drag this, let go S to smooth, option here, and drag that out. And now it looks like this. So you can see they're really tightly following each other across the screen and that looks pretty good. One thing we wanna to do to make this realistic is select each transform here. So transform one and come up to settings and make sure we select motion blur like this. Left click on that, select transform two, do the same thing, left click on motion blur and then transform three, select that, settings and then left click on motion blur. And that'll add realistic motion blur to the movement. We can't see it right now because we deselected it earlier but if I right click right here and hit motion blur, now we actually see that each circle as it comes across has significant motion blur, right? If I hit play, you can see the motion blur, it makes it more realistic. All we have to do now is add our fourth circle to this to finish our transition. Let's come down here, left click and drag over these nodes and then come down and drag them out of the way so you can create a little more space, right? Let's come down to background again, left click and drag that into the workspace, take its output, left click and drag that right into merge three, bring merge four over here, Take your background, select this, and bring it to your right. Left click on transform with background highlighted, and then left click on the background again and select the ellipse. Now we have another black circle. Let's come to background here and right click on this one, and we're gonna select a different color for this one. And let's just do green circle this time, hit okay and return. And now I'm gonna take the green circle, right? Left click on the color black. We've got green here in our presets. You could use anything here. You could use, you know, pink. Uh, red, whatever color you want. I'm just gonna do green to keep it simple. Left click on OK. And now I need to make this green circle gigantic. So I left click on the transform here, come over to size and just left click and drag that to the right until it completely really fills that space like that, okay? I'm gonna come to the end here at frame 47, left click and drag the X position until that circle's completely off the screen and way off like this. Left click on its keyframe, come back to the beginning here and then left click and drag its center position, its X position until it's completely off the screen this way. Now if I hit space bar to play, that green circle chases past the other ones, right? Right after them, just like that. The last thing we have to do with this is smooth the spline, right? So left click on the spline, left click here on zoom to fit, left click and drag over these, 
let go and hit S to smooth here. Option on a Mac and drag to your left. And now if I hit play again, we're gonna see that green go right over it. The only thing I need to check at the end here is if the Transform 4 has its motion blur. Come up to settings, left click. It does not have motion blur. I wanna add that real quick and then come back to the beginning and hit space bar to play. And there you have it, right across the screen, okay? Now it's a pretty short and quick transition, but it should look pretty good in the timeline. So let's go back to the edit tab here, left click. And if I just hit space bar, let's see what our transition looks like right now. So hit space bar. And you can see there's a little part there where you can actually see her still past the transition, right? So all I have to do to fix that is take this transition, this fusion composition, and just move it to the right like this, right about here. And let's hit space bar now. Let's see if it covers it. And there you have it, right? So we moved our composition just a little bit to the right, and that gives that green circle just enough time to cover it up and create a smooth transition. All right, so that wraps it up for how to create your own custom transition inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you found this video helpful or you feel like you learned something today, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason for Vasa Productions. We'll see you next time.